What is up YouTube? Today we're going to check out this Biotik tattoo travel box that I use for all my conventions. It comes with a built-on table, comes on with speakers, you have a little tiny mirror that's on the inside as well. It comes with four different drawers, the locking case down here. Uh, so here's the intro and then we'll get to this thing. Starting off with this tattoo case, um, I think that it's super practical if you like to travel with conventions um, as often as I do. Um, I try to go to like anywhere between four and a dozen tattoo conventions a year. This one, the price point on these range from about $400 to $420. I know that seems a little astronomic, but I've had this one for about two years now and it's holding up pretty good. I haven't had to change the wheels, I haven't had issues with the locks, I haven't had issues with the latches mirrors not broke um, and it does pretty well uh, in the back of the truck and it, does, it doesn't seem to take on too much damage really no complaints from me as far as it goes obviously mine's completely sticker bomb you can get these in pink or you can get them in black uh, the ones that are pink are a little bit more expensive that's why I give you the $420 range we will attach the links right to the bottom of the video so if you are interested at the end go down click it and buy it I think it's super cool I don't see many people with them at conventions um, not as many as I thought that I would, um, given that it really does minimalize your travel load. So with that being said, let's kind of dive into this thing. I do believe the build quality on this thing to be um, relatively exceptional. And I'm only saying that because when I first got it, I was like, ugh. But the abuse and the amount of conventions that this thing has gotten through with me is quite a few. Uh, you don't really have too many scratches, scuffs, dents, cracks, or anything like that. So the build quality is pretty good. Um, as far as the tabletop goes, we'll open this up real quick. If you guys can see, the camera guy might have to back up a little bit. It's just a couple latches like that. And then what you're gonna do is the legs swing out just like that. And it just clicks once and then twice. There is your tattoo tray. Now, this is where I could complain, but I can't really complain. When you're moving the tattoo box when the table is out, the legs really themselves are kind of flimsy. As you can see, if I go like this, they kind of want to close on you. I haven't had it thankfully happen to me yet, but I can imagine somebody has. If you go too far down, I'm sure everybody's stuff will go all over. But with that being said, don't do that if you do get this. Um, there isn't like a locking position for the leg. That is one of my complaints. Other than that, this is it. Holds up really well. It's super easily cleanable. Um, this does have some scuffs and some scratches on it. It is the outside of the tattoo box itself. So it is the outside of the tattoo box itself. So it doesn't surprise me that it has some nicks and scuffs on it. Um, but to break it down, it's really simple. You just hit the push pin, you slide it up. And then the same thing here. Hit the push pin, slide it up. You just fold this in, pull it back down. Lock it and latch it, baby. All right, so now that that's all locked, here's the drawers. So I haven't set my code. I just kind of left the little orange tabs in there. Um, but you just slide that up, slide this one up, slide it open, and then here you have all of your drawers um, for your, holy shit, I saw a bunch of cartridges in there. You really have a lot of space. Like, these aren't, like, they're not stingy with the space. Like you could fit four boxes of gloves in this. Really, you, you can get anything that you possibly need in this tattoo travel case um, that you really need to do conventions. I wish that they came with the I support offshore drilling, but they don't. But other than that, um, it is very spacious. These drawers are actually holding up. I mean, I, I tend to take care of my stuff. Like, as you can see, nothing's like really dirty. There's nothing inside of them. Um, so I, I like to, when I'm done anyway, take it out, give it a good wipe down and make sure that, you know, you're taking care of it. But like the handles itself, you can see that there's just two little screws that hold it on. Um, I've had this thing for about two years now. It really does hold up. It's not like, I mean, again, I don't abuse my stuff. So that could be why it's holding up. If you're very abusive and hard on your stuff, I get it. It probably won't last as long as it's lasted me. 
But with that being said, we're gonna go on to the actual inside of it. Here you have more storage, okay? As you can see, I have new pounds of flesh. Um, I've got extra RCA cables. So this, pound of flesh. Um, oh cool, my lanyard from Rubber City. Um, disposable grips, because I tend to like to use disposable stuff, especially when I'm traveling. Got my trustworthy TT's body balm in here. Obviously, I've got my sanitarium. Um, more pound of flesh. You never know what convention you're going to, if they're going to be slow or not, so you just tend to have pound of flesh with you. It gives you something to do. Um, got more TTs. People are carrying out more stickers. Anyways, this is it. Here's a little mirror I was talking about. You got your mirror, you got your speakers here. Um, you do get a little cord here. Um, you can plug it in. Honestly, the speakers aren't that loud. Uh, we tend to use like a Beats, or is it a JBL? It's a JBL, it's kind of like a Beats pill, um, but it's like a JBL speaker we tend to use. Um, this one's not very loud. Um, I'll try to connect it to my phone real quick. And uh, I'll show you guys that it's not very loud. Um, here's a little plug-in port here on the side. Plug it in, and it says hi-fi. So we'll go here, we'll go into our Bluetooth connection options here. Um, I don't believe that's that. I think it's AW is what this one Yeah, this one comes up AW. So now that we got that, we'll play some Pandora. This is what was on while I was playing on my motorcycle. I'm just doing this for volume purposes. I don't own rights to this music. Um, this is as loud as it gets, really. So it's not horrible, but it's not like, it's not the best. And then you can just switch it off right before they start singing because I don't own copyrights to that. So I'm not even gonna really touch that. Um, so it does get pretty loud actually, um, a lot louder than I remember to be honest with you. So that's actually rather impressive. Uh, I don't ever use it. So that could be why it kind of caught me off guard. I think it was actually a little bit louder than what I remember. Um, but with that being said, um, close this box back up and we will finish up this review. So to pretty much sum up this box, um, it's hard for me really to to be negative regarding it, um, just because I've had it for two years and it's really done right by me. Um, it's got cool locks on the wheels. You can really travel with it, not even just for tattooing, but for anything, whether you're makeup or a barber or anything like that. So I do I do think that it. It is um, kind of a must, especially if you're gonna be traveling to do tattooing, because you really wanna make sure that you're able to carry everything with the lightest look possible. Um, it's no bigger than the average size suitcase. Um, it does have a handle here. Um, I wish it did have an extendable handle where you could lean it, but I mean, the beggars can't be choosers. Maybe you could add something to make it personalized so you can do that. But other than that, for $3.99 on Amazon or $4.19 for the pink or purple one, I don't feel like that's a bad price. It seems a little astronomical, but in the grand scheme of things, it's one tattoo at a convention. If you're not making $400 on a tattoo at a convention, check this out. This is the Biotique tattoo travel case, or makeup travel case, or barber travel case, or salon travel case. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, or if you would like to check out the link at the bottom, do so. This is G Dickens. We'll see you in the next one.